Now, when you look at Howard P. Becker, he was born in um, the early night, the, the pretty much 1900, uh, because when January come around, it's gonna be 1900. But he was officially born in December of uh, 1899. So from J um from 1900 to 1960 he was developed to uh, American social sociolo sociological association president president so he was a president over the whole uh, social social situation and this psychologist pretty much that go into sociology and so um, the word cult was changed and pretty much gave, given a different definition because the original definition was derived from culture because culture was the word uh, especially in English used for uh, the way people live or certain beliefs that people have but mainly the practices that uh, a group uh, practice in their lives that their culture a race or uh, country you know in that manner and so when you and then that word sprang out of these other languages uh, in Europe uh, and that and in Europe those that word was cult written in a lot of their literature over there and when you read it in their literature it meant religion so the word cult Spring, it was always meaning religion until the 1930s when uh, Howard Paul Becker became uh, a prominent figure uh, in the American Sociologic Sociological Association or Sociological Conversation, and he was bringing in that this word cult is something where you have religious denominations you have well uh, religious this is another word for it but it was out of he's he, he created this denomination then you got the cults then you got another thing and he was following some other guys uh theology on that or another guy's theory on certain different kind of religions. And so uh, he was the start of this demonizing this word cult for, for where now it's um, coming from a different standpoint. So this this is a, a prominent figure in the understanding why they use this word cult and it's mainly the Christians because they widespread in many denominations. They got 41,000 denominations. You can Google that. 41,000 Christian denominations Trinitarians and non uh, non-denominational Christians and so you got 41,000 of those and then they're the prominent predominant, that's the best word, that's the word he used, predominant uh, group of so-called religious people that use the Bible or Bible you, people that su subscribe to the Bible um, the whole Bible and so they usually use this word as cults because and my, my, most of them are Trinitarians because 
That's why they give the Jehovah Wickedness that label cult because they don't believe in the Trinity and they call God, uh, uh, give God a name and they don't say Jesus is God. So they are a cult because they have a different theology than the predominant people that go by the Bible. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a word that was created to demonize people that have different beliefs than this widespread plantation Christianity Catholic dogma. You see, it was created to demonize folk by Howard P. Becker because the original meaning of the word just meant a small group of people that have a, a culture or religious beliefs or certain practices and um, uh, what you call it uh, rituals that they do it was nothing uh, bad or derogatory about the word before this, pe this Edomite came up with it but I got a part two to bring out in the scriptures how it was always cults in the Bible and they was the ones that was anointed. That's where that word Christian come from, anointed. But I'm going to bring that out in the next, in the part two. All praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Rekaka Dash, double honors to the elders pushing the truth, peace of the elect worldwide. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.